Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, the rest of our Tuesday will at least feature some breaks in the clouds, some intervals of sunshine and temperatures will be close to average for this time of year. Here in the noon hour, we have readings as cool as near 50 in the Northwest Hills, but mid 50s elsewhere inland, mid and upper 50s, 58. In fact, a popular number currently along the Connecticut shoreline. There is a north northwesterly component to the wind, making it feel a bit chillier out there up at around uh, five to 10 miles an hour. So there's our eye can view from Torrington. You can see some patches of blue, some breaks in the clouds, similar scene coming in from Hartford as well as from New Haven. So certainly an improvement over what we had to deal with yesterday and as well from uh, southeast Connecticut. A few uh, uh, peaks of uh, sun and some blue sky there looking live from New London. So uh, we had a couple showers overnight. Uh, those have cleared out. And as we head through the rest of our Tuesday, again, we'll see uh, clearing get underway before more clouds move in uh, later on this evening. A little disturbance moves through overnight tonight that could generate a couple of showers as we head toward the morning commute tomorrow. Any rain tomorrow morning should be scattered in light and then that will give way to some clearing uh, during the course of our Wednesday afternoon. Uh, temperatures tomorrow uh, pretty similar to today. With regard to uh, Zeta, there you can see it is now beginning to move away from the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, currently down to tropical storm status as it, uh, of course, weakened as the center of the storm moved over land. But it is forecast to strengthen again to hurricane status as it approaches southeastern Louisiana, certainly impacting Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Florida, and Georgia as we head Wednesday evening and a Wednesday night. And then as we head into Thursday, heading up in our general direction, Thursday night into Friday morning, this is the storm system, the moisture that will work in tandem with a system moving at us from the west that will uh, really uh, increase the potential for rain that could be heavy at times. And then as cold air wraps in on the back side of it, that we could see that transition from rain over to some snow or a mix of rain and snow before it ends. So here is the latest. I'll show you both the GFS and the European model. Start you off with the European 7 o'clock Thursday morning. Cloudy but dry. It's as we head through the afternoon on Thursday that rain overspreads the state becoming steadier and heavier. It's not until around say daybreak on Friday 7 o'clock. You can see that transition over to that mix the uh, pink over to blue up near Massachusetts that drains farther south. Where's that colder air wraps in as that storm center passes off to our southeast. So by a Friday evening on the European model kind of keeping that snow a little bit longer around here in southern New England. Meanwhile on the GFS model same sort of trend with the rain moving in during the afternoon becoming steadier steadier, maybe even heavier again by the evening. And then as we go into Friday morning on seven o'clock, a little bit farther south, uh, but not too far off with the timing and the placement here with regard to that, uh, that switch over to a little wintry mix and then snow. But this uh, model brings it to an end a little bit sooner as we head toward Friday evening. We're talking about the possibility, especially in the higher elevations of some minor accumulations. We'll have more on that as it gets closer in time behind the storm system, dry and chilly for trick or treating on Saturday after the sun sets temperatures drop to between 40 and 45. And then of course, next Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, a week from today, we've got uh, our election uh, temperatures to start the day as we see it now 35 to 40 and then peaking uh, near 60 before dropping off as the polls close back into the upper 40s and low 50s by 8 o'clock. So on our seven day forecast uh, tomorrow, mid and upper 50s and then 54 on Thursday, only 40s for highs. That wind on Friday will create wind chill values by the evening in the 20s, maybe even the teens Then the upcoming weekend after that chilly Halloween Saturday rebounding nicely on Sunday with highs uh, in the upper 50s, close to 60 and then uh, low to mid 50s, perhaps some rain. In fact, we have to add that to the forecast for Monday of next week. Kara.